guys welcome to my channel i'm jordine if you're new here so i've come to you bare face because i'm going to be trying out a couple of drugstore things that i picked up recently but the main 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 point of this video is basically i'm going to be putting these foundations head to head the battle of the brand so this is the maybelline superstay foundation i do have a individual review on this foundation if you guys haven't seen it and then i saw this one in ulta this is the l'oreal infallible longwear shape and stick foundation and if you guys didn't know, L'Oreal owns Maybelline, so I kind of wanted to, you know, see the difference between these stick foundations, especially with them being drugstore stick foundations. And I also found this concealer from L'Oreal. So this is their True Match Super Coverage, yeah, Super Blendable uh, Concealer. And you all know, if you don't, I love the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Like, this is one of my favorite drugstore concealers. So I wanted to also compare those two. And of course, we're going to be trying a couple of new drugstore items. So if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. Hey okay, guys, so the first thing I'm going to start off with is this. This is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Micro Fine and Define Pencil. So I've purchased this before, but I haven't showed you guys on my channel. I don't know why, but this is the one that I had previously. It's completely gone. Like, I finished it. It's in the shade Soft Brown. I actually do like it. So I just wanted to let you guys know about this. It retails for $6.99. I picked mine up at Target. So that's what it looks like. It's basically very similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz, where it's a fine tip retractable pencil that has a spoolie at the end. Spoolie is actually nice for a drugstore brow pencil. So I'm just going to start off with my brows in today's video. So I like to brush them up. So this is the shade soft brown. For a soft brown, it's actually pretty pigmented. So I'm gonna go on with this. This is the Essence Lash and Brow Clear Gel. Hopefully it works. This really is pretty big, but we'll see. Um, the brow gel is pretty thick. I don't know if it's going to hold it though. I'm just going to go in with my ColourPop concealer as my eyeshadow primer. So I use it to kind of shape my brow and then use it as primer. So I'm going to try out this palette. This is the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air Color Icon Palette. It reminds me a lot of the Modern Renaissance. I'm going to start off with this brown shade at the bottom here as my transition shade. That shade blended quite nicely. Go in with another blending brush and go in with the red shade at the bottom. The brighter red shade. Definitely getting darker as I blend. It's not really the color that I thought it was going to be. It's kind of muddy right here. So far, I don't really like it. <laughs> Put some of that same burgundy color like in the inner corner. I'm going back in with that first transition color just to blend the edges. I really thought that the red was going to be brighter when I applied it. Maybe it's the way that it blends on my skin tone. It just gets darker on top of the base. I don't know what it was, but I don't like that. That's not the color I was going for, but you know, here we are. I'm going to go back in with some of the concealer. I'm just going to do a halo. So I go a little higher because as you see, when I relax, <laughs> when I relax, my crease kind of comes down a little lower nowadays. Don't know what's going on with that. Right, I'm going to go on with that gold right there. If I concealer brush. Mm. 
I'm going back in with that burgundy shade to see if I can blend these edges. So I'm just kind of pressing it. I'm going to switch to a flat brush. That way I can just pack it on a little quicker. The blending brush is kind of taking away some of it. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. Packing on the color instead of blending it out, um, you'll get the intensity just a little bit more. I feel like it's a lot of work though, which is annoying. We're going with a little bit of the dark brown at the bottom. Hopefully it doesn't fuck it up. A little bit of the lightest matte shade and pop it onto the crease just to brighten that a little bit. There's some dimension, something. Okay, I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. So the eye look didn't come out too bad. The only thing that I say is that the palette is a little bit dusty and then that red shade, you have to pack it on a little bit more just to get the outcome that you're looking for instead of blending, you need to do more pressing motions. So that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and put on lashes and a little bit of liner off camera and then I'll come back and do complete. So I have my lashes on and mascara. I'll link the lashes down below. They are pretty affordable, but let's go into the foundation. So I already primed my face. I'm using my Tatcha. I don't have any drugstore primer that I wanna use right now. Um, but yeah, so we have the Maybelline Superstay. This is the color 360 Mocha. And then this is the L'Oreal Infallible and I have this in the shade Chestnut. So L'Oreal Infallible is up top, Maybelline is at the bottom. As you can see, the Maybelline has a little bit more of a warmer undertone whereas the L'Oreal, um, L'Oreal has more of a cool undertone. It's a little bit more red, unfortunately. They did have a lighter shade, I believe. The shade is Cocoa, but it looked a little light in the store, so I didn't pick it up. So I have tested, I did an individual review on this before, and I've worn this already, so I have an idea of how I like it already, because I just want to come up here and put them side by side without have an idea of both. So on this side, I'm gonna do Maybelline. On this side, we're gonna have L'Oreal. So I'll start with Maybelline. Maybelline Superstay is a mattifying stick foundation. It's supposed to be long wear. So that's Maybelline. The L'Oreal Infallible is also long wear. It doesn't claim to be mattifying, more of a natural finish. I'll go and double check for you guys. Um, but it's supposed to be 24 hour wear. So I'm gonna use this on the L'Oreal side and I need a comparable brush. Let's use this on the Maybelline side because that's why I've been doing it. This is a 490. Look how easily that blends. That's what I really like about the Maybelline for a stick foundation. It just blends really easily. So that's Maybelline. L'Oreal. This one blends out easily too. Okay, so that's the L'Oreal side. Looking straight on, there's not really much of a difference except for the Maybelline side is a slight bit lighter than the L'Oreal side. But looking at my neck and chest, that's L'Oreal, this is Maybelline. So more of a golden undertone, which matches with my chest. This one is not really like a heavy gap, but you can tell that this is just a slight bit darker than the rest of my body. The finish on both still look pretty good. So this one has a slight sheen right now, but it does dry down matte. This one is more of a natural finish. Um, yeah, and they're both pretty lightweight, which I like a lot. 
Oh, just some information on that L'Oreal foundation. So it's supposed to cover, define, and enhance your features. Um, it's 24 hour medium to full buildable coverage. It's creamy, it has a creamy glide on texture, and it's supposed to be a long wear foundation stick. So that's what the claims are. Nothing about the finish or anything. So it's a creamy. So basically both of them are supposed to be like a multi-use tool. You're supposed to be able to use it to contour. But Chestnut in that L'Oreal Infallible is the second to last shade. It comes in 12 shades, you guys. It's the second to last shade. <laughs> so I'm supposed to contour with the next shade down. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay, so this is my Maybelline Age Rewind in the shade Tan. I've reviewed this already. I'll link it if you haven't seen that video. This one is the Super Blendable by L'Oreal. This is the True Match. Super Blendable. So this one comes in 14 shades and I have it in the shade Dark and 7-8. It is supposed to be a multi-use concealer that has medium coverage. It's supposed to correct undertones. This one is a little thicker than my um, Age Rewind now. I'm putting them side by side. So Maybelline side, Age Rewind. So it looks like my Age Rewind is a little bit more coverage than the True Blend. And after I blended it out, you can kind of see that line of demarcation. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit more because we don't want a line. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so after one layer, this is the L'Oreal side. So it was a thicker consistency, but I don't know if you guys noticed. This has a slight shadow, just a slight, a teeny bit shadow, because it's medium coverage, whereas this was a little bit more full coverage. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more, just a little bit. So this is what both sides look like after blending everything out. <laughs> they, they look very similar. Like, the color doesn't even look crazy. Looks nice. So again, Maybelline, and then this one is the L'Oreal side. I'm gonna go in and use Cody Airspun to set my face. I just picked this up. I mentioned in a video that I have smile lines. <laughs> I mentioned all my videos that I have smile lines. But I mentioned in a video that I got a recommendation that Cody Airspun would help with that. So I'm gonna use it. I'm using my taper brush though to set my under eye first. So I'm using my Velour Puff from Laura Mercier. I'm gonna pop a little bit of the Cody Airspun inside of it. And then what you wanna do with the puff is kind of fold it and rub it together so that the powder gets down inside of it. Fold it. So we're giving it an equal chance by setting that smile line. It's a slight cast with the Cody Airspun powder um, around my mouth. I'm not here for that. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Press Powder. This is the Pro Matte Powder and a fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna lightly set. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Essence Brighten Up Powder just to highlight my under eyes a little bit more. I am gonna use the same taper brush, just took off a little bit of the Cody Airspun. And 
I don't think it really brightened up my under eyes any differently from how it looked. But I'm gonna go ahead and do my complexion with the things that are not new and then I'll come back. Okay, so I just finished off my eye makeup. I just smoked out the bottom lash line a little bit more and added an inner corner highlight. I also added bronzer and contour. So, so I had two different options for blush. I have this one from L'Oreal. This is the Paradise Enchanted in the shade Fantastical. And then this one is the Wet n Wild Color Icon in the shade... Uh, mellow wine they both look ashy I'm not gonna lie <laughs> so this is the mellow wine like that's not gonna show up they look so much brighter in the store especially this one like this looks so bright in the store and then I took it home and I'm like what in the world that's the fantastical it's barely showing up and then mellow wine okay and that's Mellow Wine. As you can see, you can see more of the Mellow Wine. So I'm gonna go in with this one first to see what it looks like, because I have a feeling it's not gonna show up. <laughs> it does have a mirror, so I'm gonna use the mirror. So it looks more like a highlight, like a soft sheen instead of blush. It has a slight scent to it, it smells like peaches. This was low-key, like the brightest one that they had there. I'm so disappointed. This is a no. I'm taking this back. I don't like it. Thank you. It has a nice sheen to it. Maybe if you're lighter than me, it'll work out for you, but no thank you. So we're going to go in with this one. That one shows up a little bit more. So that one has a little bit more color to it, so that's okay. I'm gonna apply my lip products. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop BFF3 lip liner first. Just to define my lips. So I picked up this lipstick from L'Oreal. This is the Color Shine in the shade Glossy Fawn. I saw these in the store and I was really hyped because of the finish is supposed to be like, you know, a sheer lipstick that has a sheen to it, which I'm really into because it's just easy to touch up. It doesn't look crazy when it wears off. But most of the colors were like swatched, which is so annoying. People are so annoying. Um, but yeah, I just picked up this one because it was the, the newest one. I really wanted to pick up some of the pinks and the coral. I'll have to just find it somewhere else. See, look how pretty that is. So I really like the way that this looks by itself. It has a nice sheen to it. It's perfect nude for all skin tones, I think. I think it will look good on everyone. But of course, I'm a gloss girl, so I'm gonna go in with this Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss in the shade number six, Bright On. And it's popping a little bit in the center. I think we found another nude lip combo, did we not? I think we found another nude lip combo, ladies. Yes, this looks so good. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face with the Makeup Revolution Sport Fix Spray. It's the extra hole spray. So this is what the finish look looks like. It actually turned out pretty nice, even though I was having some issues with the eyeshadow palette. I actually like the way that the eye look came out. So I'm gonna show you the difference between the foundations and natural daylight. I'm gonna do a wear test for you guys so we can you know, make sure this is a real battle, a real comparison, and then I'll come back and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts and which one I think you should pick up. So I'm in some natural light for you guys. So again, this is the Maybelline side and this is the L'Oreal side. Can we really even tell the difference? between the foundations and concealers like really they don't look bad at all the Maybelline matches much better you can see it has my right undertone whereas the L'Oreal it's a slight slight bit darker but it doesn't look horrible like it doesn't look bad at all let me see so I've had it on for about an hour no crease in as of now they look good 
I'm back. It's the end of the day. I'm just going to give you a rundown on the things that I did like that I tried out today. So, um, I like the lip combo. Definitely like this. This is the Color Reef Shine in the shade 900. And I like the lip gloss as well. So, I'm going to keep using those. Um, I also like the CoverGirl pencil. I've used it before. I finished one. So, I do like it. Um, infallible powder. It looks nice. I like this. Uh, things that I can do without, to be honest, is this brow gel. It didn't really hold my hair, so I had to keep brushing it up. And then this blush right here was going back like this. It's going back. It did not show up, so bye. This blush is okay, but you don't need it. You don't need it. The eyeshadow palette, I'm a little iffy about because as you can see, my eyeshadow is still on my eyes. But I felt that it was a little powdery and dusty when I was applying it first and that it did get a little bit muddy with application but it was five dollars for so for five dollars it's not a bad eyeshadow palette so if you do want to pick it up you know it's okay it's just not my favorite quality of eyeshadow but as you can see the eye look did turn out pretty nicely and you know it's there it's there it was just a little hard to work with that's all the Brighten Up Powder, on the other hand, I didn't think it brightened too much. But as I'm looking right now, I don't know. I do like the way that it looks. So it's the Brighten Up Banana Powder. I'll probably keep using it. We'll see what it looks like with some other stuff. But so far, this is an iffy one too. So I don't know. So let's get down to the complexion, the battle of the foundations. I'm gonna zoom in a little closer for you. Okay, so we are battling the foundations and concealer. So this side is my Maybelline side. This side is the L'Oreal side. Can you even tell the difference? <laughs> like, you really can't tell a difference right now. Here we go. True match. Age rewind. There is slight creasing um, on my smile lines, but it's not that bad. I actually think that the Cody Ear Sweat helped it a lot. So we got something that helped. There's really no shininess on my nose at all either. There is slight creasing on between my eyes. So I do think that the Cody Airspun helped the longevity of my smile line. So that's actually something that I would kind of recommend if you haven't tried that before. It might be up there with the Laura Mercier powder. Um, it's five dollars, but it's like the scent of that powder is so annoying. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And that background noise is the AC that just popped on. Sorry about that. All right, so let's get down to the foundation. So again, this is my Maybelline side. This is my L'Oreal side. And as you can see, they look very similar. Like there is really no difference to them. I did look at the ingredients online and they're, they're different ingredients, so they're not the same exact product. Um, I don't know, they feel very similar. So it's just up to you. The Maybelline one is slightly cheaper though, where um, on Ulta's website is $11.99, the L'Oreal one is $12.99 on Ulta's website, but I got this on Amazon for like $8, and I think at Target it retails for $9, so it just depends. I don't know if this one is at Target, you would have to double check. I will double check for you and let you know if it's at Target for a cheaper price. So I don't know which one I would say go for. I guess go for the one with most product. This one. So Maybelline has 0.25 ounces, which is nothing. So that's what it looks like. And then the L'Oreal one has 0.32 ounces. So it has way more product to it. So it's, it's up to you. The Maybelline one also comes with a sponge, but do you really need a sponge? Not really, but it did help touch up my makeup when I did try it. So it just really depends. It really depends what you want to do. This one claims to be 24 hour wear. I don't know who's wearing their makeup for 24 hours and I'm not really sure because it does have a slight bit more crease in here, but they look the same. So, you know, it's up to you. They work well. Now this right here, this is where we get like the head to head battle because when I first applied this, I felt like it had a little bit more coverage than this one. And this has 0.2 fluid ounces, whereas this one has 
0.05 fluid ounces so way less product than this one as opposed to this one the Adrian wine but when I looked up the ingredients list you guys L'Oreal you think you slick the first 10 ingredients are literally the same and if you know anything about the ingredients list whatever is on top has the most concentration so you're telling me that the first 10 ingredients are so similar that they're basically the same concealer like that's crazy now the ending of the ingredients list is a little different and i think it's because the avery wine has a little bit more skincare benefits to it but the true match super blendable concealer also claims to have some um skincare benefits to it too i guess it's just the concentration of the skincare benefits in each concealer but they're basically the same thing and i don't know who l'oreal think they are trying to trick people you need to chill out with that but they have the same basically the same ingredients this one was 12.99 my adrian wine retails for 7.99 so i'm gonna say do your adrian wine don't let them play you because it's basically the same thing get more product for cheaper than the true match super blendable concealer you don't need this get this one they think they slick they think they slick like no no you know what's funny when i was reading the um ingredients for the adrian wine it said patent pendant like this is a secret ingredient patent pendant like sis y'all just went ahead and put the same thing in this one too so what the what's the problem so low-key i'm gonna return this because i already have my adrian wine it has way more products so l'oreal no no <laughs> so these two are going back to the store i don't want it i think i might switch this for another shade it just depends I don't know, I think I kinda like the shade, it just depends. But yeah, that's it. Let's go back to the store. Don't get me wrong though, the super blendable concealer is pretty nice, but like I mentioned with the ingredients list, they pretty much have the same ingredients. So you're getting way more product with the Adrian Wine concealer. So it's probably just a better option for you to just go ahead and get the Adrian Wine. It's gonna be more product in it anyway. And I felt that it did give me more coverage when I first applied it, as opposed to the True Match uh, Super Blendable. So just do Adrian Wine. It's the original, just stick with that. They be all right. They making money either way because L'Oreal owns Maybelline, so they're fine. They're doing okay. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Something a little different, you know, battle of the brand, seeing some of these similar drugstore um, products that recently launched. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. I actually really like the way that this turned out. And I didn't even tell y'all how long I had this on. So it's 10.32 currently. I've had on my uh, makeup for about eight hours, eight and a half hours. So this is how it looks. Eight hour wear on both sides it looks quite good still pretty well controlled so if you have not i would love for you to hit that subscribe button join my little family i'm pretty close to 300 subscribers so i'd really appreciate if you would just you know hit that button also give this video a like it helps me reach other people and that's gonna be it for today's video i will see you in the next one bye